What's up tech fans, Kevin here on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, normally my share of the videos on this channel are focused just on talking about games themselves, but today we're gonna do something a little bit different and talk about accessories. And we're gonna do a review of this, the CM Storm Pulse R Gaming headset from Cooler Master. Now, normally this retails for $89.99, but you can find it on Amazon right now for about 83 bucks. We're gonna walk you through a little unboxing of it, talk about some of its features, sound quality and form factor, and let you know whether or not it's worth your dollar in today's competitive gaming headset market. So let's check them out. So here we've got the headset still all boxed up. Let's just go ahead and rip off this plastic covering it so you can more clearly see the box details. Now on the front, we get a little stylized picture of it showing lighting effects coming off of the headset with the full name, the Pulse R Aluminum Gaming Headset, with a few of the main features being listed. On the side of the box, we have a listing of all the specifications for the headphones, mic, and inline controls, and on the back, we have a full picture of the headset pointing out some of the key features, such as the detachable mic and the customizable plates, which we'll talk about later. Sliding this cover off, you can see that it's just a plain simple black box. We lift this lid right here and bam, there's our headset with the mic. First off, as you can clearly see, the mic is a detachable design to help make the whole headset way more portable. And then we have the actual headphones themselves with this sleek yet sturdy black and aluminum design. Also inside the box, we have a little quick start guide for the headset and a nine foot cable for hooking it up to your computer. So enough with the unboxing, let's talk about how this thing performs and what kind of features it has to offer. Now to begin with, this is an illuminated headset, which means that while it's plugged into your computer, not only can you chat to your friends or yell at people over the internet, it, but while you're doing so, you're going to have white LED lights coming out of the side of your head from the crevice between the actual headphone and the aluminum plate on the side, which is cool because there's not that many illuminated headsets on the market just yet. Now, speaking of these aluminum plates on the side, this is actually one of the more unique features of this headset is that these are actually designed to be very easily removable and reattachable, meaning that you can take them off and customize them how you see fit. You could spray paint them a different color, add a decal or a symbol of some sort, and make the headset all the more your own. Now, this is a wired headset, so it does need to be plugged into your computer at all times, though it's not that big of a deal because it does come with a three meter cable, which is almost 10 feet in length. That's way more than enough if you're using it at your desk, and it's still plenty if you're trying to have some kind of living room set up. Now, don't don't let the USB cable at the end fool you, this is not a USB headset. You only need to use the audio and mic jacks for it to properly work on your computer. The USB plugin is only required to power the lights for the headset. Now on the cable we do have some inline controls, just the basic pairing of what you need, an on off switch for the microphone, and volume controls as well. Now speaking of the mic, as we said earlier it is detachable, but while it's plugged in it's very secure, it's not going to wiggle around a lot, it's not going to move a lot while you have it attached to the headset, so you can move your head around without worrying about the mic getting out of place. But you can still make sure to place it where you want thanks to its flexible and bendable design. Now as for form factor, it's a really solid design. It's a bit plain looking at first for my taste, but once you have the white LEDs on it really brings it to life. And the lights are at just the right brightness. They're not blinding, but they're not subdued either. And if you're not a fan of the aluminum design, then great, just go ahead and detach the plates like we said earlier and change the color as you see fit. Either way, the aesthetic ends up working out really well. Now, of course, looks alone aren't everything. Of course, one of the biggest factors that most people care about with headsets is, of course, comfort. And this one handles it really well. The headband is, of course, adjustable like most headset designs, so you can have it fit your head, while the cushions on the top and ear cups are very soft, so you can use them for extensive gameplay periods, but firm enough to hold up over time. I was able to wear this headset for several hours before experiencing any kind of major ear pain or discomfort, so it definitely passes the comfort category with flying colors. Now, all these things aside, the one big important question is, of course, how does it perform sound-wise? Now, to be clear, this is a gaming headset strictly balanced for gaming, meaning there's a very heavy emphasis on bass and highs for things like explosions, gunshots, things breaking or shattering, basically all loud sound effects. There's nothing stopping you from listening to music or watching movies with these, it's just that there's better headsets out there that are balanced for that kind of thing. Though these might work for the occasional action flick that's Michael Bay style, where there's more explosions than dialogue. Gaming-wise, though, this headset sounds really good. A lot of different explosions and sound effects can go off at once and still cleanly come through all together. The only thing that ever ends up getting subdued or drowned out by other sounds is in-game character dialogue, and only when it's trying to compete with those other things at the same time. Now, as for how the microphone sounds, we're going to let you guys hear that firsthand. Now, as you can see here, I'm wearing the headset, and the audio you're hearing right now isn't being recorded by our usual mic setup, but actually by the headset mic itself, hooked up to our little Sony recorder right here. Now, this is a noise-canceling microphone, so it's going to do its best to drown out any kind of noise in the background that isn't too loud or too sharp. That way, your voice comes through cleanly during game chat. So is the Pulsar Gaming headset one of the best headsets out there? Not particularly. Is it a good headset for its price point? Definitely, especially if you're in the market for getting an illuminated headset without breaking triple digits. 
On the downside, it is wired, although you do have an almost 10 foot length cord to work with, and it's not surround sound, but it's comfortable, customizable, and offers good quality sound for gaming. Well, that was our review of the Pulse R aluminum gaming headset from Cooler Master. If you guys want to grab one for yourself, check out the link in the description for pricing and availability. And if you enjoyed this vid and want to see more accessory reviews on Tech of Tomorrow from me, make sure to hit that like button to let us know. If you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you become one because we have more great content on the way. I'm Kevin, we've been watching Tech of Tomorrow, and we'll see you later. Now normally this retails for about $89.99. You can find them on Amazon right now for about $83 bucks, though. Oh. I don't know what that is, but it landed in my mouth.